team. So we're here to give you and this presentation is to give you an insight of our project from beginning to end. Okay, so this is the base that we tap and when rain falls what happens is it goes into the guttering and it's channels down here and we connected both guttering and it flows towards the sea which I breathe it into the both tanks and then from the flow from the tank it will go towards the pump and the pump will propel it back, the pump is here and then it'll come along, it'll propel it back along here along here and it will go and to flush the toilet and this will be tea here where it's very big to play right. the can and then up here it's connected we got to in on top there we turn on tea on top and then that lock will have this place there in case in case that anything goes wrong with the system, then we can always shut it off. When we start the system, then no water will be directed to the toilet if something is going wrong. So all the toilets, when you flush, no water will appear. So you would know something is wrong and you know you have to correct it. How has this project impacted on your water bill? If any at all. Well, in the tally that we, in the tallies that we have conducted, we made two tallies, one of the original where we had, we recounted the amount of students flushing both sides of toilets and another one where we calculated how much was only for one side that we had implemented. And the percentage of water conserved with us was about 63%, 63.3% in total. So because the total amount of water was about 3,046.4 liters that the whole school is using per day and the on one side of the toilets it was only 1,927.8 liters which is the side that our system is actually implemented on. So therefore this project it's cost effective it saves a lot of money because it could be implemented on a large scale or a small scale and so far in Holy Name it's implemented on a small scale so if the project is implemented on a larger scale it saves a lot of water and therefore will save a lot of money from how much people have to pay. Seeing that you have saved, you reduce your consumption by 63% right? and so significantly your water supply from Wasa would be better used so it has increased your ability to get a better water, potable water supply, has it? Well, actually what we aim for is the water that we're not using could possibly be redirected to rural areas that aren't able to actually get the luxurious water that supply that we have now. So hopefully it could be redirected and used for people who don't have our kind of advantages. In terms of sustainable sustainability of your project and continuing the project even after the competition is over has anything been put in place by you all or by your teacher to continue the project well yes um, win or lose in this competition we plan to install a filtration system mm -hmm. where maybe perhaps the water could not just be for only one side of the toilet but maybe the whole bathroom maybe washing hands possibly once that filtration is being implemented. Okay. And what is the most important experience that you will take forward from this project into your academic life and your future? Well, I have learned how much water it takes to flush one toilet, which is 11.9 liters. And also we've learned other skills such as a little bit of plumbing and how to cast cement.